So in the last vlog, I arrived to Peru, to Cusco, and uh, Coco and Charlotte picked me up, and we met up with O'Reilly. O'Reilly? O'Reilly? We met up with Early, and we went to Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu. Yeah, we rented a car in Cusco, and we drove to Machu Picchu, and we stopped at a couple little villages to check out all the different things you can buy there, like hats, and sweaters, carpets, blankets, everything. And yeah, we probably spent like six US dollars there. Now we drove through all these towns and we bought a bunch of cool little souvenirs and gifts that will remind us of Peru forever. We stopped at a little rest area on a pass, a mountain pass. And we went for a little hike in the fog. It was really pretty, and then we watched the old lady and her grandson eat lunch as we ate lunch. Guinea pig's a big meal here. I don't know if you knew that, but in Peru, they put guinea pigs on sticks, and they cook them, and then you eat them. And as we continued our path to Machu Picchu, we found that it was quite an epic road. Uh, not a road for a mother to be on, but we managed to to make it through without throwing up or anything like that. Um, and yeah, we finally stepped foot into the sacred grounds of Machu Picchu. We're on top of the Machu Picchu mountain, where there is a wonderful view on the Machu Picchu. Yes, wonderful. But uh, not today. I think I've seen this view before. That's Orly finishing the hike. What you get? What the hell did we do? We did. We, we walked around with like a thousand other tourists, actually to be exact, 2,500 other tourists. Uh, which was a weird experience because you're in this place that's, it's just total wilderness up in the mountains. But yet there's like 2,500 people also with you. After about two weeks for me of sightseeing in Peru, I'm so excited to finally do some rock climbing. And here we are in Pichamarca. It's a tiny town located two hours from Cusco. We spent our first two days climbing around, toward run with our friend Coco from 7A Escola de Escalada. We climbed some very beautiful slabs that are on a very smooth grey rock with some good dough, which reminded me of the Verdun Gorge. Then we climbed on some very beautiful double tufa warm-up route, which is called Cocodrilo. again that makes me so happy and numb and cold but it's perfect awesome and we also got our pump on on the 8a plot <laughs> called um mas duro que mi bola charlotte yes tell us how you feel right now how i feel um overwhelmed amazed happy i can't find the word but this place is amazing and knew it was going to be good but I didn't think it was going to be that good and that much so we'll be busy we might have to stay longer what do you think Josh? we're going to cancel Alaska it was funny we were like oh should we cancel Alaska should we not and then we got a text from one of the locals up in Alaska basically saying like we just got a ton of snow it's going to be tough for you guys to climb here and Charlotte and I looked at each other we said alright time to cancel Alaska which I think is a good decision because after climbing a couple days and walking around and up and down the two sides of the valley we're just like alright there is a lot of climbing and there is a huge amount of developing and we're psyched for it so we're gonna spend about five weeks here and I think that's not gonna be enough so much rock now we're heading to the other side of the canyon check out a lot 
of things. Uh, yeah, it has a good little sting to it. Oh, got it in my ear. Oh, okay, I think we found the best, or at least my favorite wall, right here. And then there, just found a cool little hut, like actually little, and actually a hut. Right, a little down climbing, traversing on the wet rock. Yep, we're on number one. We are now at the top of the beautiful, iconic prow that just kind of hangs over the valley. From one angle, this tower, this like overhanging a ret, it kind of reminds me of Predator from Rumney. It looks like a sheep face and also there's a ton of sheep everywhere so it kind of works out. Um, but we're dubbing it like the sheep face or sheeping beauty or holy sheep, sheepy hollow. We are happy because after two months we are finally taking the bolting stuff out. Oh, and I upgraded my bolting situation with a new comfy harness. It's the Selena. First bolt is about to be put. We are working out the lines, We're figuring out where to put the bolts. We are running from that rain right there. <laughs> Starting to sleep right now. The thunder is still echoing in the canyon. We're making our way to a little hut. Yes. There's a first for everything and today, is our first time running to a man-made ancient shelter. Thanks again for following. This is vlog 52 now. And again, you can follow us on epictv.com. You can follow us on our website at aworldlesstravel.com. You can also check out some of our destination films on Cold House Media Vimeo channel. And other than that, we're stoked to stay here for five weeks in one place and bolt the hell out of the valley.